<laughs> Welcome back to the channel. Good morning, happy. Thought I'd do something different today because I've had a lot of requests on Instagram for this and on George's Instagram. And it mixes it up from just seeing my boring face on the vlogs all the time. So we're going to show you what me and George do in a day. Whilst I'm on prep, she's currently dieting, ready for a very big year next year, which we're both excited for. So it's an important time. We're both smashing it. We're both on point. We've both got very big goals that we need to manage. And I think a lot of people could take from this. How do you manage two people that do very extreme things and live very extreme lives? Well, George does, I don't. And... Uh, <laughs> what do you mean? <laughs> What extreme life do I live that you don't know? I'm nice and chill, don't do much. No, and show you how we manage it and how we uh, get everything done and just how we live. So, welcome to our day in the life vlog. Welcome to our day in the life Anyway, this morning we've been up a while actually. It's already seven o'clock, so I've been awake for three hours because some dude in the car park decided to wake us up this morning. At 4 a.m. blasting music like louder than I think I've ever heard. On a Sunday morning. So... We've done, we've got up, we've done my check-in and sent that to Nath. Um, and then now we're gonna go and do our first gym visit of the day. I've got 30 minutes. I've got, uh, I've got total an hour of cardio. Now the problem we've got today is it's a leg day. And I'm training with Rye. So I usually would split it 40 and 20 but I might do the whole 60 this morning so that I don't have to try and move my legs and I can rest them off the legs, we'll see. Oh, that's good. We'll decide when we're on there. We'll see you at the gym. So, in the mornings, we do actually have, at my apartment, a gym um, upstairs. However, it doesn't have Stairmasters, and uh, to be honest, the pure gym stairmasters that we use are good. George's on the stairmaster at the minute. I have just moved to incline walk. I went to see Nate the other day, um, and he said that any other form of cardio now is just going to fucking batter my legs. So, just do uh, an incline walk, which is what I'm on. So, I'm going to try and get the treadmill next to George, and then we'll just both smash out what we need to this morning and then abs some posing rounds i might actually film a little bit of where how george puts me through posing um obviously george's got quite a lot of knowledge and experience when it comes to how i'm serious <laughs> why are you laughing no, wait till i've finished okay, and then you can tell me if you disagree okay george's got <laughs> quite a lot of knowledge and experience when it comes to being on stage and she's witnessed a lot more pro shows than I have. That is true. Yeah. So she knows how they run. She knows what they're likely to do, the judges with posing. And she understands the requirements of what's needed as an athlete to perform at that level. Correct. Would you agree with that? Um, there you go, actually. It's just funny to hear you say. Listen, the there's one thing I will say, right? And that's that I've learned is that you can learn something from anyone. And just because I'm a pro bodybuilder, it doesn't mean that I can't take George's advice. And when someone's been around shows as much as she has and has the knowledge that she does and likes bodybuilding to the degree she does, you can take something from it because she's got a different eye to I have. She's got a different perspective to me. And ultimately, if I ignored that, it's a bit of a stupid thing, isn't it? So I use it to my advantage and get her advice and knowledge. The fabulous pure gym that we use for morning cardio. It's actually a pretty good pure gym, to be fair. It's uh, it's got some glute drive machines and all sorts of bits in here. Basically, like uh, Ultraflex. Okay, that is nearly cardio done. I'm on my last minute. That's 40 minutes on here done. The order's just done. The 30 minutes on the stairs next to me. How was your cardio? Ha, <laughs> rough. I currently can't stop or talk much. Let me finish this last minute and we'll hit some abs and posing.
Session one done. Tick. It is like pretty late for us actually. Um, Eight a.m. So we might go get a coffee or something. Um, we'll probably have our pre-meals in a couple of hours. We've got a, a leg sesh with Rye today. Uh, George's not training with us, unfortunately. She's going to be split. But we are with Rye. We love Rye. So we love Rye. it's My good to see Rye. One of the best I've ever seen. We'll show you Rye on the channel. Rye's not been on the YouTube yet, so. Look at the state of me. Sorry, everyone. Can't look any better. Zip me spears right now. It's all right. I can take it. Keeping it on the floor. Thank you very much. And this little shot of coffee, we just sip on it, and it is. It's actually delicious. Who got you it? into this? You did. I was getting like a big, uh, like Americano mm -hmm. in the mornings, but it's a little bit too much uh, fluid. liquid and fluid after I'd had all my morning drinks. So this, a little bit of flavor, a little bit of caffeine, a little bit of a kick. Mixture. Mixture. The flavor is, what did you say? What did you just say? It helps go to the toilet. Have you told them the story about? What happened to me the other day? Can I just tell this story really quickly? So I was in Pure Gym and I went for my pre-cardio poo. <laughs> Do you not really No, yeah, you can tell them. I went for my pre-cardio poo. poo. <laughs> pre-cardio poo. And I left my phone like on the toilet roll holder like that. I stood up from the toilet, it's my phone actually fell straight in to the toilet bowl that I'd obviously just gone to the toilet in. Um, it's okay, my phone's live. Did you flush first and then get it out, or did you just go straight in? I absolutely did not flush first. I, I had to just put my hand straight in. I had a wrapped up in the kitchen the toilet roll. I didn't have time. I thought about the water damage. I just thought I've just got a. Yeah. It's okay. Got that quick. <laughs> oh, my watch is dead. What time is it? Ten o'clock. Yeah, 10 o'clock on the dot, basically. 10 o'clock. Time for meal one. Pre-workout. This is when we... It's our, like, weekend routine. Yeah. On the weekends. We basically go and have our coffee, like you've seen. We come back. We get ready. We make our pre's. I always do a far better job at making mine. You can't really see it from here, but it is better. Should we show what it looks like? Go on, then. People like to see food, don't they? Put yours next to mine, what? See what they think. Yeah, not bad. So we've both got some creamy rice. Then we're gonna train. I've got legs right, George's got glutes and delts. Um, and we are actually gonna see Nafe, because Nafe's there today. So he's gonna have a quick look at me while he's there in person. We're gonna train, we're gonna come back. Uh, we've got a food shop to do today. Um, and then some meal prep to do for traveling tomorrow. So, all in all, pretty busy day. We love it. Proactive day. Pre-meal's about to go in. Scram this. Go hit the gym. <sighs>
training done you've seen my workout you've not seen George's workout you've seen my workout my, my session with Rye a little bit of posing with him he's two weeks out uh, from his next show uh, he's already done two shows this season and had two wins so incredibly good season for Rye so far good to see him good to get a session in we're now Ali it looks busy. Does anyone else hate food chopping? Like, I actually hate it. It looks busy, don't it? Ugh. I've got to deal with people, drag our legs round and get this done so I can get home and eat a post-workout. But before we do that, I just want to say, if you don't shop at Aldi, you should shop at Aldi because we were shopping at Tesco or Sainsbury's and a food shop that was costing us, I don't know, £40. 40, pounds, 40 quid, I reckon, yeah. We did the same shop in mm. Aldi and it was £24. Pounds. I reckon we easily save over £100 quid a month if we change oh easy the food shop yeah so top tip shop at aldi we're gonna go get what we need and then we're gonna go home and eat a post and then cook but okay. we need to cook first cook and then eat let's go let's go george is on trolley pushing duty because uh i'm gonna die if will. i thought you said you was good at driving these yeah, it's uh, not great, that is it. Oh well, challenge for you. Chicken, <laughs> veg, so far. That's literally all we've got in there. This is my job currently. This is George's job. We are out and about. Just out on a walk to the shop. We basically just got home. I pretty much conked out. We prepped some meals. We've had a couple of meals since then. We've just been mainly chilling, uh, which is what Nath told me to do, to be fair. Uh, we saw Nath today. He was in the gym uh, when we went in, so he had a look at me. And uh, basically, I'm just kind of checking and touching base with him daily at the moment, just because changes are happening so quickly. Um, so when I send him pitch in the morning, we'll see whether or not I need a little bit of a top up or a refresh. Uh, but for now, for today, he just said, with that 20 minutes of cardio that I would normally do in the evening, to miss that out, um, and instead just get a little bit more time off the legs with it being a heavy leg day today. And we did go in um, and give me some recovery. So just a light 20 minute walk now for me and the wife, there she is. We're both hungry, we're both tired. It's been a day. And to be honest, we're not really doing much from now after this be kind of like our wind down time the thing is when you get up at the time that we get up and the, when it gets to about like five o'clock in the evening for us it's kind of like what most people would would feel like at like what seven eight nine because if they don't sleep late and you know we're we're ready to go to sleep by like eight o'clock out with most nights because that's not before then to be honest with you unless yeah. i'm working so although to a lot of people like us winding down at sort of five o'clock on a sunday it might seem like we're not doing much but actually we've been up and, and doing a lot today so I'm just ticking those last little bits off we might show you us having our last couple of meals if there's anything exciting i'm gonna have my eggs in a bit which i'm incredibly excited for um i only have my cream of rice which i'm unbelievably excited for so we'll catch up with you in the, with the meals and we might we might head up to the roof tonight and i can't see that have a little bit of couple time um which is something that i think a lot of people are interested in um as to how how you manage it how you manage relationships and things in prep i would say for the most part for most people it's probably very difficult um for myself it, i'm quite lucky uh, in so far as jord lives this lifestyle anyway she would live like this whether or not she was with me she'd do exactly the same thing she'd be up every morning stupid the clock doing cardio so it's not like it's a change to her in any way to for me to come in and, and for my, me to be in prep suiting the phase that she's in at the minute um so i think we've kind of got it a bit lucky in, in a lot of aspects with how we both are um, i think that that kind of often it causes the divide and the issues that people have with relationships and bodybuilding and preps uh, but so far actually i said it i'd say that prep's been a breeze for us if anything, it's brought us closer and we've enjoyed it and we're probably not quite ready for it to end, I'd say, yet, are we? Uh, but we are very excited for... Christmas! <laughs> the back end of the year when we can 
live normally and actually hopefully bring out some vlogs that are a little bit more lifestyle oh bit of parkour here go on ready for this go on then yes i'm just gonna drop and see you're gonna hurt that ah that hurt didn't athlete. it athlete just play it cool for the camera. I'll we'll cut this down. Um, <laughs> yeah, I can't remember. But anyway, yeah, about bringing out some videos that'll be more, you know, off season, some big training sessions, maybe some more normal stuff if we do anything normal. But we'll see, we'll see. Depends on how the year goes. So we've got a, one thing in mind at the moment get this done and then on to the next. So this. Is mine and George's little spot. There is actually up there some higher roof tops, but this has got the most chill. And in there, um, we've got a little pool table and uh, a little cinema area to chill. So it's nice up here. There's never anyone up here, so me and George always kind of come up here and just hang out and chill. We like it up here, don't we? Yes, Lewis, we do. <laughs> yeah, we love it. It's nice, man. It's definitely nice. Yeah. Apologies for you. Funnily enough, that is my, one of my favourite meals, my egg meal. You've seen that on the other full day of eating, but um, we're just chilling, so we're having that. I am at the point now of hunger where every meal is like, ugh, so I'm gonna enjoy this, chill out, and I've got one more meal. Back again the next day. It's Monday, and look where we are, the same spot, just looking slightly rougher today. Thanks, babe. <laughs> no, me. Didn't flinch the vlog yesterday. However, we did just chill out and not, not do much. So got up this morning, same routine as you've seen yesterday. Cardio done, posing done. We've just come to get our coffee for this morning. It's a little bit earlier than yesterday because it's a Monday. So it's just before seven o'clock at the moment. And uh, we are traveling back down south today. For We basically mostly spend like, at the moment, the middle of the week down south at George. So we've got a really nice little routine. And then we come up here for like any in-person check-ins and work that I've got and any bits and that I need to do or maybe see Nate. So it works out pretty well. Um, we've got it knuckled down now. So today we're traveling, but I'm also on a high day. So what I might do is run you through a few of the foods that I'm having for this high day. Um, I'm probably not gonna show you a full day of eating because the whole traveling back down south and stopping at service stations you've seen a couple of times now. But I will show you roughly what we're doing with meals today before I finish this video so you can see that we're loading. And you can see that every day is a little bit different. At the moment, I am checking in like pretty much daily now, Nafe wants. My body can change very, very fast. Um, and today, I'm a little bit too fatigued, a little bit too far down. So we've just put in a little bit of food to see how it sits. If you are interested in seeing roughly what a full high day looks like for me, there is a reel on my Instagram, which is down below. You can head over to my Instagram if you don't follow me and check it out on there. So this is what you call efficiency. I'm gonna show you this, because this is what actually life is like for us on a Monday. And a lot of people talk to me about time. Clients talk to me about time. Jord probably hears that from her clients a lot. And it's something that people do definitely struggle with is finding time or making time or getting used to making time. It's half past nine in the morning here and we've got all meals, I'll show you this. So that is all my refeed meals, cooked up, ready to go, pre-meal ready, health pills ready, um, everything else that I might need for the day. Jord's got her meals cooked up and ready. They actually look really good to be fair. Look at that. I nailed that, didn't I? Yeah, that one, the absolute winner. Grams, that. Unreal that. And then that is our life packed up. I know it seems like a lot of bags and random stuff, but you know, I wanted to show you how we manage things on this video. There's no point in showing you what, what we don't do. So on a Monday, it's get back up to the other side, get everything prepped up, and we do that super early and we do that by just getting up at four o'clock. That's the reality. If you haven't got the time, you make the time, you make it work. We finished 15 check-ins, a food shop, posing rounds, cardio this morning. George's done, 
How many of you stay? 11 of her 12,000 steps. All my meals are done, all George's meals are done. And it's half past nine in the morning. And that's just because we've been up for, you know, sort of five, six hours now. So now we can train, we can travel, we can get back to clients as the day goes on, nice and relaxed, and nothing is just shoved in our face and you've got this and that to do. And it also means if there's any problems with my prep and anything comes up or anything like that, we can sort it because we've not got loads of tasks in front of us to do. They're all majority behind us. And that's the way you should structure things. So that's this morning done. We're at the gym, we're ready to train. I'm not gonna show you any more today because the vlog will be too long, but we are trialing high days. So once we know what high day we're gonna be using and we've got food a little bit more structured with these refeeds, we'll show you how we're doing that and what changes we've made and why we're feeding me the way we are once we've kind of established with Nath the exact plan of attack. But today we are just training as usual. We're not gonna put another workout in because there's already one on yesterday from Rise. And then we're off back to the wife's. And it's up to another week and we'll be we're well, three weeks and six days out from today so we'll get another week done down there and we'll be back up here for a similar thing next weekend show on saturday um and we'll be three weeks out crazy from back up here in this gym it's going quick actually isn't it yeah next time we train in here we'll be three weeks out That's 27 days till show day. No, it's at the still. moment. Oh, yeah, no, at the minute, yeah. yeah. So anyway, with that being said, support, like, subscribe. That's what you got to say on these things because then they click that button and I get more subscribers. And we move on to the next. Catch you when I'm hopefully a little bit more shredded and a little bit closer.